All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can use Write to Table. And specifically within Write to Table, we are going to be going over how to write a list of objects to another table, right? And so in this example, this may happen with you pretty often. I had a large list of companies. I emerged the companies, scored them. I found the top 17 that I want to contact. And now what I want to do is create another table for prospects. And so what I've done is First, I ran this find people integration on the same table. So basically on here, right, I'm just looking for the CEO, founder, or co-founder. Now what I want to do is create a new table that has rows for all of the people and the contact information for all of the people, but I also want to retain all of this company information so that I'm able to see the contact information and the, their company's information side by side. And so the first thing that you need to do when you're writing to table is figure out what are you writing? And in this case, we're writing a list of objects, which is these LinkedIn matches. The next thing to do before you even really get started on this is you have to think of what the table should look like that you're looking to write to. So my ideal table, right, has all of the same columns about the company, as well as the person's name, title, and LinkedIn profile profile that the LinkedIn find people integration was able to find. And so to make this really easy, all I did, instead of creating all of these columns to match my last table, all I did was I exported this as a CSV and then uploaded that table into here and deleted all the information. And what I was left with was essentially a carbon copy when it comes to the columns. And I just added on top of those columns, the contact name, contact title, and contact LinkedIn profile. And the reason this is so important is because when you are writing to table, you'll be mapping based off of the columns in that new table. And to show you what that means, um, write to table, I've selected this table called write to table demo. And all of these fields that pop up right here are the fields that I've already created right here. Now, in the case that I wanna add another column, it's not a problem. I can add a column on this table and up here, go to refresh fields, which will repool. Um, but uh, in this case, I've created the perfect table uh, for my use case. And now what I need to start doing is filling in the information. So the first things first, I have chosen to write a list of objects. And so what I'm going to do is put in, uh, if you go to find people, this list of objects, these are the matches. This is kind of the core piece that I'm looking to push over to the other table, right? So now I've identified that this is going to be the list of objects and the list of objects is this list of people. The next thing to do is to begin mapping the different columns. And the most important thing to keep in mind uh, with this, and you'll have to get a little bit used to it, is that you'll constantly be asked for every field, is this value a constant? And what that means is if we're looking at you know, our table right now, we've got all of these different rows. And currently these rows have different information about the companies. And in this one column, we've got multiple different options, right? And so if we're looking at this table, the total funding amount is going to be a constant for all of these people in this list right here, right? Right here, we've got three people in this one cell. This total funding amount is going to be a constant for all of those people. And so when this asks, is this a constant? If essentially, if it is going to be the same, for all of the people in your list, then yes, it is a constant. Check the box and what you can do is map it really easily just by using the token, right? So you can select, um, you know, in this case, we are selecting founded, uh, the founded date, uh, which is in my list. And we're gonna do that for everything that is a constant. So again, company total funded, that is a constant for every company. And we're gonna switch that on, map it by token. The difference now is once you get to the columns that are not constants. So the prospect's name is gonna be different for every prospect. The contact title is gonna be different for every prospect. The contact LinkedIn profile is gonna be different for every prospect, right? Once you get to the uh, pieces of information within find people that are different, you do not use the token. Instead what you do is, for example, I'm mapping these objects, right, within matches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type out exactly what the name is here. 
instead of using the token. So if you, for example, click on the token and have that in here, it's not going to work because the name is going to be different for every prospect, right? So what I want to do is just type name. Same thing for the title, right? If you're unsure what to type, go to find people, go to your list of objects, go to an object, and the uh, attribute is car called URL. Same thing for LinkedIn Pro, um, sorry, attribute. Yeah, it's called URL for LinkedIn profile and called title for contact title. Once you've got all of that in there, um, I would just double check, make sure that, you know, if it is a constant, it's marked as a constant. If not, it is not. And then you can click save changes and we can go ahead and just write this over. Rerun the rows. And what you'll start to see Try to refresh this table. There we go. Uh, what you'll start to see is it's populating. I've got all the comp company information on one side. And as I scroll over, you'll see I've got the contact spe specific information. And we can reorganize this just to make it make a little bit more sense for us, right? And there we go. Now we have successfully mapped the contacts as well as all of the company information for the contacts. If you have any questions about Roger Table, feel free to drop that in the Slack community. Thanks.